I'd like to tell you about the volume flow measurement within the Clarius app. The volume flow rate through a vessel is really valuable clinical information in a variety of physiological and pathological conditions, including renal dialysis. So you can use any of the Clarius linear scanners and just select one of the vascular presets. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the carotid preset. Now the volume flow calculation requires two measurements. The first one is the diameter of the vessel, and the second is using pulse wave Doppler where you're going to obtain a trace of the Doppler spectrum and you're going to get time averaged velocity information or TAV. So I'm going to place my scanner over the carotid, we'll center our vessel and freeze it and then I'm going to enter into the tools menu. We'll measure the volume flow diameter here. And I'll just adjust my calipers slightly. And then we'll save this image by taking a picture that will also save the measurement that we've done for the calculation. So now I'm going to turn on my color Doppler just to get an idea to see if there's any abnormalities in the flow. And when I'm when I have an idea of where I want to measure the velocity, I can go into the pulse wave Doppler option and we will center our sample volume in the center of the vessel. Now I also want you to notice that there's an angle correct here. We can adjust that angle and the angle is displayed at the top of the screen there. You never want to be over 60 degrees. It just introduces too much error into the calculation. So I'm going to adjust that to 60. And then I'm going to make sure that that line is parallel to the back wall of the vessel or parallel to the blood flow. And when we're ready to start sampling, we'll just tap the pulse wave spectrum. I can adjust my baseline as well as my PRF by dragging up and this just makes the spectrum fit on the screen a little bit better. So now we'll go back into the tools menu and pick the auto trace for the volume flow. And you'll see that we're getting a really nice automatic trace of the Doppler spectrum. I can freeze the image and we'll see our volume flow displayed in the top left hand corner of the screen.